Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from WP Central. We're with Paolo from Microsoft. We're checking out the Samsung ATVS. Hey, how's it going, Paolo? Good, thanks for having me. What you're looking at here is a new high power, uh, high performance smartphone uh, for both work and entertainment, offering a premium Windows Phone 8 experience on the Rogers LT network. It's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, an 8 megapixel camera, LTE connectivity, and a 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED screen from Samsung. It's a beautiful looking device with a really brilliant screen. And you can see here, Windows Phone 8 has the excitement and personalization, the, vib the vibrance and the friendliness of Windows 8. We have live tiles that are active and move. They can be moved around. As you remember from Windows Phone 7, they can also be shrunk and played with. This type of personalization has been really key and really exciting to Windows Phone 8. A lot of people are very excited. Lots of things have been announced about the Windows Phone 8 over the last couple of months from our hardware partners. Samsung in fact had um, an event in the fall where they showed off this device specifically saying it was coming to carriers around the world. What we've seen is not only the excitement in the aggregation of content and data from Windows Phone 8 like we've seen in the People app where your Twitter feeds and your social feeds and your contacts all merge into one so you can post once and publish many places and keep on track of all your contacts. We're also finding that features like Wallet and NFC are getting people very excited. There is uh, three key apps that I'd like to point out for today. They are, the first one will be groups. On this phone we call them family rooms. Now this is a really nice feature. This allows you to take contacts that are close to you and put them into a room that's private and confidential to share information. Think about your family, your best friend network, potentially even your hockey team, where you wanted to uh, populate the group with friends, obviously have chat and communication that's private to you, to yourselves. You can share a calendar. This would be great for the hockey team schedule. You can share when that calendar is, when you're gonna get picked up, who's gonna pick up, and have those chats and conversations. Photos, this is a great place to share photos that you want with that particular group. I know with my family, and with the family room that I've created on my phone, this is a place where me and my wife share photos of our children, where they're not being posted on social networks, and they're not being posted to each other's phones. They're putting intimate in the group, sharing wonderful albums. We have a notes section. This is a place to do to-do lists, like, honey, can you go get the milk? Mm -hmm. There's also a great way to share location. This holiday, you know, my wife and I, we, spread, we, we divide and conquer our shopping list. And this would be a great um, application for me to share location in my group to let her know that I'm in Toys R Us while she's in, in the bay. And we're able to re-coordinate and not have a, a lengthy text conversation of where are you at, where are you, where am I, and go yeah, on and yeah. on and on. This group features, this room feature is really exciting uh, that people have talked a lot about with Windows Phone 8. The second one I want to talk about is Kids Corner. If you've ever seen a parent pass back a phone to a child or have you ever passed along a phone to a young to a, a younger uh, child in a family where they want to play their fruit ninja they want to listen to their playlist they may want to use the phone uh, they also may want to use a camera every time you see this either in the grocery store to keep a child quiet behind you in the car seat when you're driving this is a moment where people have anxiety you pass back your phone did they buy an app did they delete an app are my contacts still there did they email my boss are they calling long distance you know I have a child that's six and four and they're very active in the touch screen uh, space so they always want to play their fruit ninja now this phone isn't set up with my sim card but you get a great example of how to set up kids corner you can see you have games music videos and just apps in general and you can create anything from the Windows Phone 8 marketplace and apply them to the kids corner so when that launches, you simply swipe left, swipe up, and you give them their own specific Windows Phone 8 interface. The home button is, dis is dis disengaged, the back button, the search button, the phone doesn't work, it's disabled, my contacts aren't there, my music lists aren't there. What is here is exactly what I want to give them. Now in this example, we see calculator, alarms, <laughs> and camera, but we can see this as Fruit Ninja and Cut the Rope. We can see this as somewhere to play uh, Angry Birds, have maybe a specific playlist of their favorite songs, and even the camera. This is something you take photos but not be able to share them anywhere because the only thing they're able to get is this little environment. And it's really exciting because you can pass back your phone and have a worry-free environment. 
Now this is a very pretty phone. A lot of people will look at this phone and say, hey, that looks familiar. This looks, uh, this is one of Samsung's leading designs that you're seeing from competitive, competitive OS's out there. This phone in itself is beautiful. I'm gonna just pick it up slowly for the camera. It's really lightweight. We have a camera button. We have our power button. We have for our earphones. We have some volume. And you can see the shine on this, I'm sure, with the camera. That's where you power up. There's the Egg Mega, Egg Mega Pixel camera with flash. You have front facing camera here. And there's your Windows button. This is a really light feather white phone. It's made out of aluminum, shines brilliantly. It's got a beautiful bright screen. Just pops when you just pops when you look at it. And you can just see people having a lot of excitement with this phone, filling out apps, customizing the screen, and making sure that it's the phone for them. We're really excited with the phone. Very cool. So uh, do we have any, th th this is the Rogers version we've got here, uh, do we have any word on pricing or release dates? Uh, we don't, uh, but I'm very excited that this will be coming uh, very shortly before holiday. Excellent. Great. Rogers will uh, verify price and timing. I'm sure, yeah. Yes, they will. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks a lot, Paolo. No problem.